Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Well, I am here to use up some stuff. <laughs> um, I was scratching around in my room the other day and found some rings, um, just the loose rings that you would use to bind things. And I thought I should make some ring bound journals just to use these rings up. So if I'm using things up, I'm like, what am I going to use to make the pages? And I thought, you know what? I'm going to use paper bags because <laughs> what have I got more of than anything else in the world? Paper bags. So here I am. I am going to cut these paper bag bases off. Then I am going to um, split my paper bags down the seam and turn it inside out and glue it to itself face to face so that there is no logo no logo showing but um, we have lots of nice brown paper so that's what I'm about and of course to do this I need lots and lots of glue so I get to use all those glue sticks that I still have lying around that had little bits left in the bottom now I've got five here that's all I've got left because I've been working very hard at um, using them up lately but um, I am going to use all five of those and probably need some more glue to carry on with so but anyway let's get these paper bags all sort of cut apart and separated and glued and we will see where we go from there Right, I've trimmed the edges of all of these um, paper bag bases and now I'm just cutting the sides so that I can remove them entirely. And then we'll basically just have a big tube of brown paper with a big fat ugly logo on the outside. So <laughs> I will find out where the seam is and tear it straight down the seam with just with a ruler because it's just quicker that way. And um, yeah then we will get to folding them back on themselves and gluing them face to face so um, of course all those sticks were put aside for another project and so are the paper bag bases being put aside for another project probably little albums who am I kidding we all know that's what I do with them <laughs> so I think I do seven paper bags in the end which is a nice number of paper bags to get rid of and um, yeah we will go about sticking them together and then piling them under my mat for a day so that um, yeah they have a chance to stick nicely and sort of dry out a bit.
As you can imagine, this makes for a nice sturdy piece of paper, um, being doubled over paper bag, um, which when you're making a ring bound journal is something you kind of want anyway. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with the um, the weight of the paper that this sort of creates. It's almost like a thin, thin card, but um, yeah, great way to use up paper bags <laughs> and the ends of glue sticks, to be honest. <laughs> So I think out of these seven bags, I will manage to probably make three journals. Um, I am going to intersperse them with more decorative pages. Um, but yeah, uh, they're not going to be huge journals. They're just going to be sort of, you know, smaller pages. But um, yeah, I think this will make um, a few nice sized journals. I know we've discussed this before as well but um for those of you who have not seen it before this is what happens to blue glue sticks when you leave them lying around for a bit um they start going white <laughs> they lose their blue which is what they're designed to do as they sort of dry out but um yeah they're not really designed to do before you actually use them um this glue is still good there's nothing wrong with it it's just um old so but now it's all going to be used up so it won't have any chance to dry out any further and get non-usable so i'm very pleased to have got rid of it all um don't worry i'm sure there'll be a new glue stick graveyard produced very shortly and we'll have to do something like this again <laughs>
Okay, I cut a bunch of that out because I'm sure you don't need to watch me glue seven paper bags to themselves. So um, <laughs> now I'm just going to put away a few bits and pieces and um, yeah, we're done gluing paper bags at the very least. Okay, these have sat for quite some time. I was going to leave them overnight, but no, I was just too impatient. So <laughs> I am now going to just use my paper trimmer and cut these into the size that I want them. Um, basically, there was no predetermined size. It just ended up being the size that was most suitable to get the most out of my paper bag, basically. So, um, yeah I think I get four pages out of each paper bag so I was um that was just the most efficient way to to use them as far as I was concerned um, your bags if you're doing the same thing might be different sizes and you may want to make your pages different sizes so I'm not going to worry about sizing anything um, just cut them the way you want them I wanted mine to be well basically as uniform as I can get things I'm not particularly good at measuring nor am I particularly good at cutting where I should so um, some of them end up bigger and smaller but they're basically the same size so we'll get on with cutting them now Okay, I did cut a fair bit of that out because, well, you don't need to watch me cut hundreds of bits of paper. But we do have a nice little stack of papers here. So I am going to round the corners on one side um, because I have plans for the other side. And um, yeah, we will see where we get to from then. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't need to watch me do all this either. <laughs> so be prepared to quickly go through this big stack of paper. Thank you. 
Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cut apart some of these sheets. Um, these are basically scrapbook paper. This is the last lot of scrapbook paper I actually ever bought. <laughs> these were all the scraps that I had left and I ended up taking them and sewing them all together into sort of well, almost 12 by 12 sheets but n nothing exact. Um, yeah, they're not glued or anything, they're dust sewn. So I've had these in my stash forever and ever and ever and never used them for anything. So I'm going to use them as decorative pages in this um, ring bound journal. So I'm going to cut these pages the same size as the brown paper ones and then we will get to get, get to building some journals. Um, there's still a lot I want to do to these pages before I put them together as a journal but um, yeah I want to know sort of roughly what stacks how many journals what's what's going to happen here so that's the next step
Right, well, we've ended up with quite a stack of those as well, and I'm pretty sure we can get two journals out of this little lot. Um, I'm going to cut apart some of my kooky paper as well, some more neutral ones, so I will have two of these floral sort of journals, and one just with the neutrals, so yeah, we should end up with three fairly decent sized little journals out of this which is kind of cool because I'm using up a bunch of stuff. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> Okay guys, well that's almost 30 minutes of this now, so that's where I'm going to leave it for this for today. Um, we'll come back and cut up the um, kooky paper for the neutral one tomorrow. And then we will continue on making these pages, um, yeah, good to go. We need to um, do something about reinforcing the sides so that I can punch through it and put the ring binders through them because yeah yeah of course you don't want them just tearing out so that will be our next step once we've cut up the kooky paper anyway guys thanks for spending time with me today i appreciate your company as always i'll see you again tomorrow bye <laughs>